Yo, what's up? It's Lucas, and in today's video, I wanna clarify a few client avatar things that I think we have to have a chat about. I've done so many videos on client avatars and market research and all that fun stuff, and just based on the comments and the questions I get, there's one tiny piece of information that I wanna offer you up, whether you've done your client avatar work, whether you haven't, whether you've done it a million times. I know this video is gonna have some value on it because when we understand the fundamentals or the why we do something, everything else has a way of clicking. But if we're doing client avatar, we're doing market research because we were told to do it, but we don't understand why we're doing it, then sometimes we can miss the, the point, the actual important part of the process, and sometimes be not as connected to it because we don't understand why we're doing it. So that's what this video is ultimately here to do, is to really help us have a deep understanding of the importance of the client avatar work, fundamentally why we do it and hopefully make it two, three, five, ten times more effective for you. Now, right before we do get into this video, we just put out a brand new free program. If the link is still active, then it is still free. And we call it the Coaching Business Accelerator. There's fundamentally four lessons within this free program, but I'm just going to touch on the top three. First lesson is all about your message and making sure it's a message to market match, making sure that your message is attracting the right people. Lesson two is about your offer. So making sure that your offer is clearly communicated so that when your ideal clients see it, they basically put their hand up and say, I'll do whatever it takes to join that program. I don't care the cost, I wanna join. And finally, lesson three is all about lead generation. So how to bring in the right people and building a system that's really aligned with you to bring in the right people to seeing your offers. So you can have high quality conversations and a system around it that's predictable. So if that does interest you, I'll leave the link in the description or in the first comment below. Make sure you grab it, make sure you sign up. With that said, client avatar, and this is gonna probably be fairly short. The only reason we do client avatar work, the only reason, the only reason, is to connect emotionally with the person you wanna serve. Really understand them. Understand where they're at, their biggest fears and really feel connected to it. Now, why would we wanna do that? Is it like we're, like we're gonna go like date this person or we're building a relationship? Well, no, but then we can choose the language that we use to communicate in our marketing. When we can, on an emotional level, understand who it is we serve. So when we're doing client avatar work, like I don't care about their name and their, where they work, that's all just kind of surfacey information. I really wanna understand what are they going through? What keeps them up at night? What are their biggest fears? What are they feeling and thinking when they first wake up? Or when they wake up in the middle of the night? What's their biggest, greatest fear? What are they afraid of? What do they really want? What do they wish for? If they did have one wish and it could be granted, what would they want? Then you're emotionally connected with who it is that you wanna serve so you can choose better language, better phrases, technically better copywriting so you can connect with your audience through your content, through your videos, and through whatever else you're creating, through your program and your sales pages. Well, why would we wanna do that? So on an emotion level, we understand them. And then language-wise, we can choose the right words to speak to them to ultimately meet them where they're at. Not where you think they should be. Oftentimes we overcomplicate the language we use. Oftentimes we overcomplicate even a offer, because you're probably three, four, five, ten, a hundred steps ahead of your ideal client. And sometimes we force our ideas or what we believe is right or where we think they should be. We force it in our marketing on someone like, hey, you're doing this wrong. Do it this way. And that's not creating a connection. It's actually creating a disconnect. No one likes to be told they're wrong. No one likes to be told what to do. It's, it's that whole idea of like people, they don't mind change, but they don't like being forced to change. And so when you understand your ideal client emotionally and where they're at, you can choose better language to speak to them so you can ultimately meet them where they're at. Put, the, put your hand around them, so to speak, and say, I get it. I understand it. And then when the trust is built, you can lead them from their wants to their needs. Their wants and their needs are probably gonna be two different things. And what they say they want, you wanna meet them there. And then the, you build the trust, they come into your programs and you start giving them what they need. And oftentimes as coaches, we're just forcing something that they need, but they don't really want it. They're not even aware that they need it or want it. No, they don't even want it. 
They're like, I don't want that. It's why sometimes the simplest marketing, lose belly fat. You know, get a boyfriend, get a girlfriend, make money. It, it might seem so basic and like, like, like dumb, I'll call it for what it is, dumb. It's like not deep, but it works. And it's why you see some of the best marketing messages so simple. You're not marketing to other people in your space, to other experts. Who cares what they think? You're zone who cares what they think? You're zoning into the person you want to serve and you're using language that they can understand, that they can connect to. And if other industry professionals want to turn their nose up to you and be like, that's not how it works, they don't understand marketing. You're giving them what they want and then you're bringing them in with what they need and then you're serving them at a very high level. Makes sense, yes, makes sense, no. Thumb up or thumb down, I guess, on this video. What did you think? Leave it in the comments. Anything you can extract, anything you can apply. Is this something you already knew, but maybe we lost our direction or focus on what the actual most important piece of everything you do in your business and in your marketing is, which is creating an emotional connection, using language that your ideal clients can understand, and then leading them from what they want to what they need, meeting them where they're at. Let me know in the comments below. Really hope this helped. Make sure you like this video. Like don't leave until you like this video. I'll wait a few seconds. Okay, good, you liked it. Really appreciate you. Again, let me know in the comments what you got from this and I'll see you in the next video. Now, right before you go, I did wanna invite you to check out the Coaches University. It is our hybrid, holistic, high-level coaching program. Hybrid meaning we do group sessions and one-on-one -on -one sessions. Now, because of the one-on-one -on -one nature of the work we do, we do cap enrollment to 12 new coaches every single month. But if this content's been resonating with you, if you are looking for support and you are looking for more information on what we do, how we do it, how we work with clients, then I'll leave a link for the Coaches University application page around this video. On this page, you're gonna get, again, more information on us and how we do and what we do, but also hundreds of case studies, testimonials, videos, and screenshots of coaches and clients who are literally winning from scratch, building coaching businesses that bring them 8,000, 10,000, 15, 20, 25, $50,000 per month. And a lot of these coaches started with absolutely zilch, with nothing, with zero, and they're going on to build profitable and sustainable online coaching businesses. So if you'd like to apply or just learn more information about the Coaches University, then check out the link around this video, check out the Coaches U, and if it resonates with you, book a call with us and we'll be chatting with you soon. Appreciate you, peace.